música deixa espelicar. O Indeca então é um boy aqui pra subir na vida. Agarra a barriga do rico. Winde, ah, Winde, oh papá, Winde, ah, Winde, oh papá, ah. O Indec também são ah. aqueles juiz que só querem ah. damas de carteira ah. cheia. Winde, 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 ah. Winde, oh papá, Winde, ah. Mas como é o I? O Indec então quer dizer o quê? O I, se não estás a compreender, hum, fica só já. Winde, 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 ah. Winde, oh papá, ah. O Indec são aquelas boas que até vendem a irmã para ter vida boa. Winde, ah, Winde, oh papá, Winde, ah, Winde, oh papá, ah. O Indec também são aqueles juiz que para ter champanhe e cumbu fazem qualquer business. Winde, ah, Winde, oh papá, 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 ah. Ai, my goodness, how come no one knows anything about Petro e Luigi? No one saw them, not the teachers, not the security. And now, what will we do? Well, now, now I think it's best to go to the police and report them missing. And me? When I get home without Luigi, what am I going to tell my mother? I have to start thinking about my new wardrobe. When the money that was Xavier's comes into this house, <laughs> it will be one of my first priorities. Look, Henny. What was that woman doing here? How are you, Ophelia? And Luigi, where is she? I love, can I open my eyes yet? Wait, wait a bit. More to your right. So you'll be in the center here. Ta -ta -ta -ta. Hope you like it. Hi, Fernando, love. What's this, babe? You left over here the catalog of the decorations. You were very enthusiastic with the stuff you saw, and I will look. I ordered Love, it. Love, look at this, this nam. It was just the that I wanted, baby. You made notes in the catalog. I just followed it. Well, yes, I remember. Thank you so much, love. I like to see you with a smile. I love to see you happy. <laughs> But sometimes it doesn't seem so. Uh, um, I lost my mind, I did. But I promise that it'll, it'll never happen again. I really hope not, Fernando. Does that mean you forgive me? Only this time, babe. It's not possible. My daughter disappeared, and if that's not enough with that white son-in-law of yours... I understand that you're nervous. I am also. But you don't have to talk like that about Pedro. My goodness. When Luigi comes back here, she will see. I will send her packing straight to a college of nuns in Patagonia. I swear I have nothing to do with this, Mama. Giorgio went to the police and has been looking for the kids, and our friends have as well. I'm not interested in what your husband and his friends are doing. I want my daughter now. In a moment like this, we have to forget our differences, Ophelia. And what do you think? That I'll be here hearing you until those, those two irresponsible teenagers come back? The choice is yours. You can continue here screaming all along. Or you can help us look for your daughter and my stepson. What will it be? Excuse me. My son has disappeared. Did you see this boy? Uh, no, 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 we didn't. We <sighs> didn't. Are you sure? Absolutely. Excuse me. Excuse me, my son has disappeared. Did you see this boy? Are you certain? <sighs> Excuse me, my son has disappeared. Have you seen this boy? Are you sure? Thank you. Yes, and so, any news of the children? Not in charge. I've gone all the areas surrounding the college and nothing, not a sign of Pedro or the girl. All right, all right. All right, I'll continue looking for them around here. When you have any news, just call me, please, huh? Thank you.
This thing is all your fault. Yours, the idiot Italian and his whitish little son, and now Luigi has disappeared because of you. Do you really think that with your accusation she will appear? It's because of that damn nuisance that's Pedro. He led my daughter astray and took her down all the wrong paths. Don't talk nonsense. And what did you do? Nothing, nothing. It's education, it's modern, without limits, without rules. Ophelia, we don't know what you're saying. But I'll tell you what I'll do. Now when Luigi appears, you'll pay for all of this, you will see. What do you mean by that? Just hope that when Luigi comes back, she's looking neat and very beautiful. Because otherwise, Marisa, you will wish you were dead. Madam Ophelia, you're not going to fire me for this, are you? Disappear from here! Get out! It's difficult to talk to you. Get out! What now, Mama? And what do I do? I call the police, of course. If my mother finds me now, I'll go to Mass. Keep calm, love. I'm serious. No one can find us. We have to go far away from here, Pedro. I know. Hey, guys. It's Wait. It's working. Do you think they recognize us? Stop. Hey. Hey, take it easy, take it easy, take it easy. here now. Yeah. I said we don't have money on us. Pass the sneakers on the watch. Hey, hey. Let go of us, please. You'll only go when I get what I want. Don't touch her! Are you crazy? Leave us alone. Yeah, I'm not a hero for the girl. I said give me everything. Go, Luigi, run! Ay, ay. Stop! Run, Luigi, just a bit more. I can't anymore. Wouldn't let us hide here for I a can't. bit. I can't! No. What do we do? I don't see the guy. I think he must have lost us. Hey, Pedro. I swear, I thought I was going to die of fear. Roger, do you want to give up? Of course not. But listen, things won't be easy. I know, but I want to be with you. Are you sure? Absolutely. It's almost dark now. We better find a safe place to spend the night. Do you have any idea? Yeah. Cuckoo. <laughs> Hi, Maurita. The first step is done. To Devo I returned, but I want more. Much more. More? What more, Madame Rosa? My place. It's on the management of that magazine. And the idiot Ophelia knows it already. And how are you, Madame, going to get that? It's to keep that idiot satisfied. She asked me to be her eyes and ears at the magazine, since she can't go there so early. Madame Rosa, you are really confident. I am. Very much. My place is on top. <laughs> it's on top, Maura. And I'll see to it that on my way, I crush Isara and her children. I understand your doubts, but if Uncle Wilson promised he will take Rosa out of Devo. Unfortunately, he hasn't given any proof that he can stop your aunt. And she wants Rosa a devil. He only asked us for time, Mom. Look, believe me, Aunt Ophelia just won't let it go. As soon as the lawyers put everything in the name of Uncle Wilson, she'll be back in full. And then she's going to insist on your dismissal and promote Rosa. Honestly, I just can't see a bright future for us in all of this. Well, if we can see the problem coming, we have to avert it, right? What do you mean by that, Mom? I've had an idea and I know how to put Ophelia in her place. For goodness sake, you really have to find my daughter! You have to keep calm, lady. The police will give its best. As soon as we have any news, we'll contact you. Okay. Uh, thank you so much, officer. I'll see you out. Look, Katie, son. How on earth did you let your sister disappear, son? Me, Papa. 
I didn't do anything. You have to look up to each other, my child. But it's not your fault. It's your fault, Ophelia. Me? Yes, yours. If it wasn't for your ridiculous punishment, Lord, you wouldn't have disappeared. Can't you see that it's those whites' fault? Since that delinquent Pedro went to that college, the problem started, Wilson. Yes. It's easy to put the blame on the back of others, isn't it? You know what you are going to do exactly, don't you? What are you talking about? Regarding Maritza, I want you to fire her from Diva, Wilson. You are not going anywhere, Giorgio. But I can't stand here, waiting, doing nothing. The police told us to be here. We have to be home in case Pedro arrives. Keep calm. Calm? One can see that you're not a mother, huh? One can't be calm in a situation like this. I won't get upset at you for that comment because I know you are stressed. But what do you want, huh? You only messed up. Pedro ran away. You run off and you go talk to your father and you give us even more problems. I went there because of Lucani, so that he wouldn't get home and face Ophelia alone. Not a mother, but I can see when a child needs help. I'm sorry, Marius. I don't know what I'm saying. I understand. What do you think I should do, huh? I think you should call Celia. After all, she's his mother. There's always. There's always, huh? Pedro will come back and I will say nothing to Celia. Hi, Jojo. I don't know if that's a good idea. No, no it's a good idea. Celia's crazy, huh? You don't know what she's like when she finds out that Pedro has maybe disappeared. What are you afraid of? <clears throat> I don't want to talk about Celia, huh? I'm just worried about my son, that's all. Could that be the police? Could they have found Petro? Hello. But what are you doing here? I came to see my son. Where's he? Mom, are you sure that you want to do this? And if Uncle finds out, what will he think? We have to defend ourselves from the attacks of Ophelia. And if there's a way to do it, it's having an ace against her. I just can't see one. If there's one thing that Ophelia is afraid of, it's of her own past. What past, Mom? You don't know. Actually, almost no one knows. Ophelia grew up in Musek. What? Auntie Ophelia? <laughs> the Queen of Tigers? <laughs> Your aunt tries to pose as super chic. But under all that gold, She's just newly rich. No, Mama, you're joking. You must be. No, I'm not. And now I'll search to see if I miss the doors, there isn't anything dark against her. Wait, Mom. Explain again the story of Auntie having grown up in Musek. I still find this hard to believe. When Ophelia showed up with Wilson, your father and I were a bit suspicious about where she came from. But nobody knew anything about her. And nobody asked? I must confess that for me, that was never a problem. Being poor doesn't determine whether we are good or bad people. But Mama, did you find out or not if Antofelia is from Musek? I only found out later, yes. What makes me sad is knowing that Ophelia is wicked. She only thinks about money and power. Even if it means trampling over someone who has always treated her well. Right. With such a past, Antofelia should have been more humble, and not the contrary. I just don't understand what we did to her. It's pointless trying to find any explanation to this. From tomorrow, I'll put Ophelia in her place. Everyone has something they want to hide. And mom thinks that it'll be that easy to find something on auntie? Easy or difficult, I'll get it. Even if I have to turn Luanda upside down. Enough, Georgia. Can you stop asking questions and call Pedro? I'd just like to know what prompted you to come over here without telling anybody about your arrival. I don't have to justify myself to you. I can come to visit my son, can't I? Hearing you speak like this, no one can imagine that you haven't spoken to our son in months. Georgia, go and call Pedro at once. Georgia can't do that. Why? Is he not at home? You could have said so. No, it's not it, huh? Then what is it? Pedro, he went missing this afternoon. It's out of the question, Ophelia. I won't dismiss Marisa. Wilson, the fact that Luigi is missing is her fault. Hers and that pirated Italian, they can't even keep an eye on Pedro. I don't think Pedro misguided Luigi, as you said. And I won't fire my best makeup artist in the magazine. Give me a break, Ophelia. Huh? Do you have any doubts that the stupid idiot, that thug Pedro convinced our daughter to run away? Stop and think for a minute, Ophelia. Giorgio and Marisa are also looking for Pedro. They are just as worried as we are. Don't you compare us to those people, those dysfunctionals. Don't you dare, Wilson. Mama, I will call my sister again. 
Drop that damn phone. Give me that rubbish. That phone is mine, Mama. For your information, if your sister decides to call you for a favor, she'll be out of luck. Because the one who answers is going to be me. And I'm warning you. What exactly are you talking about? If anything happens to Luigi, if she gets a single scratch, I don't even know what I'll do to that couple of cappuccinos. You're irresponsible, useless. Pedro, run away because you're a terrible father. You went to the United States, huh? You shipped the boy here. You didn't care for his well-being. Please, Shoujo. Accusations are pointless. Pedro never ran away from me. Of course, huh? Of course. He's always done whatever he wanted. That's why he's so spoiled, huh? And always rebelling. This argument is not going to lead anywhere. I'll go to court. I'll sue you for negligence. You'll never see your son again, not even on holidays. Go, 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 go. What judge will support a mother who has abandoned her own son? He ran away while under your care. Enough! You'll keep on repeating yourself over and over. Don't interfere, madam. Pedro is missing. You should be worried about finding him, not exchanging accusations. Mary's is right. I will go and look for my son, and when I find him, I will give you some news. Sorry? And when I have some news for you, I will let you know. I'm not going anywhere. I don't understand. If Pedro comes, he'll come here. So I'll stay here. I've asked Mama Mushima to help us in our search for Pedro. Look, I've said the whole city completely, no sign of Pedro or the girl anywhere. Hi, my God, where on earth could those two be, Nazare? Jojo is devastated. Shame. Nazare, maybe I should have come for dinner another day. No, 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 no. What's that? You're here and that's it. Look, Paolo, I'm also worried, but that's no reason not to eat. Well, then, can I help with anything? Sensao, do me a favor, my love. Light the fire. I'll go with Papa. No, son. You go, Paolo. Paolo, help San Sal, please. You stay here. We'll start marinating the meat soon. Today, I want your help. Is that okay? Let's go, Paolo. What's going on? You never want anyone in the kitchen. Wait, wait. Do something for me, son. At the end of dinner, take your father and go outside. What for? I'll also find an excuse to leave here as well. I don't understand anything, Mama. I just want Paolo to be left alone for a while. But why? I want him here with a drink to see what he'll do. I don't think that's cool, Mama. That's really tempting the guy. Ah, Yuri. Paolo isn't cured. And we have to be sure of the situation if we're going to help the boy, eh? Can I count on you? All right. But this is only to end your doubt, okay? Once and for all. Because I know this is not for Paulo. It's because something is bothering you about that new pastor Sabastio. My angel, you have to come to the Global Church of the New Horizon. No, I don't think so. The thought of having to get ready to go out. I think that it will do you good, Cassia. Since when are you religious, Henda? Look, I'm sure that you'll find a new meaning to your life. You'll feel much better, more comforted, my angel. I'm not so sure about that. You will be one of the healed soul in my congregation. Well, if you had done miracles, I think I'll go then. Look, I'm sure you won't regret it. <laughs> oh, yes, Atura. Do you know what's going to happen at Devo? Didn't you hear Wilson's announcement? Yeah, but will Kilwanja and Luena really continue there? How should I know that? <laughs> what is it, boy? You're the signature man. You always know everything beforehand. Where is this interest coming from? Since when are you interested in the future of the Vosses? 
Ah, it's nothing, brother. I just wanted to know how things will run at Devo, eh? Nothing more. All right. By the looks of things, the answer is yes. Kilowanji and Luena are going to stay at Devo. Happy? Well, then we'll have the seventh day ceremony here at the house. I've spoken to the priest. Everything is taken care of. Eh, uh, and the menu for the dinner, have you chosen? Not yet, no yet, but we'll talk later. Are many people coming for dinner? At least close family members. What? You allow Ophelia to enter this house? What can we do? She disowned us, but she's still part of the family. I'm glad Wilson had good sense. He allowed us to stay at Devo, at the house. Ah. Now I understand why Victoria didn't want to leave. I don't understand. Ah, Victoria. You knew very well that Uncle is a good man and sensible. And you knew that he did everything to accommodate us. What are you getting at, Luena? Victoria stayed with you in the hopes that Uncle Wilson would give us part of the inheritance. I won't allow any more attacks. It's impressive. You don't miss the opportunity to defame me. Look, my Uncle Wilson is a good man, a sensible man, but he can't control the attacks from Antophelia. So there's still a good possibility. We'll continue in misery. Don't you want to run while you're talking? Stop it, Luena. Kiluanji is right. Let's stop with these arguments. It's uncle. Hello, uncle. Is all good? Actually, no, Kilwanji. I'm completely devastated. Luigi disappeared. What do you mean disappeared? Ooh, is there any problem? Let me listen. Talk, uncle. What happened? She ran away from the college with a classmate. The police are looking for them, but until now, nothing. I think I won't be able to come to Devo tomorrow. Please take care of everything for me. All right, uncle. Don't worry about the magazine. Any problem, I'll sort it out. But if you need anything, call. Thank you, nephew. I'll keep you updated. Luigi ran away from the college with a friend. Is it a friend or a boyfriend? You know, Auntie Ophelia has always forbidden that girl from doing what she likes. <laughs> the time to rebel was bound to come. It seems like you're saying it's good. Don't be silly. Nobody deserves this to happen with their child. Not even Ophelia. So then Giorgio hasn't given any news about Pedro, has he? Yeah. Mm, and it's getting worse. The more time passes, the further away they will go. My lord, my god, these kids will have to come back. They have to come back, my god. <sighs> okay, I'll go and make coffee. That's Good it. idea. <laughs> Papa, let's go put out the fire on the bride stand. Come on, Yuri, now. Why not leave it for later, son? It won't take long. Let's go. So, Paolo, how are things with you? <laughs> it's fine, Madame Nazari. Since Pastor cured me of the alcohol addiction, mm. I feel much better. <laughs> ah, uh -huh. and how did you do that? Uh, <laughs> firstly, he forbids me from committing sin, you know? Mm -hmm. I can only go to church or to work, thank okay. God. Okay, no. very well. So you don't drink? No, no, thank God, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then you wouldn't mind if we have a nightcap? <laughs> no. I'll fetch the coffee. All right, all right. This, this is the best banana cake in town. Love, I confess that no one has ever prepared such a surprise for me. Do I or do I not know how to make you happy? Almost always. <laughs> You're capable of the best and the worst. Ah, Nadir. 
Let's not talk about that again, okay? I prepared everything with love. And I really want this night to be perfect. So then, promise that you'll never treat me bad. Oh, oh, Paul. Where now is Nazare? Ah, she's making coffee. Okay, there is the coffee. You've been drinking whiskey, right? Us? Not us, we just came in now. Somebody drank whiskey, I can smell it. My nose doesn't lie. We were outside, Mama. Hmm. Here it is. Here it is. It was you, wasn't it, Paolo? Me? No. Somebody drank whiskey, and it can only be you, Paolo. Sorry. You're still not cured, right, Paolo? I am, I am cured, yes. You were lying, Paolo. No, Yuri. Hey, oh, Paolo. Listen, if you are not cured, you better say it now. You are with friends and you know we are here to help you. No, I have. I have tried, but it's hard. You don't understand, it's very hard. And now with, with the bottle in front of me, like this, come on now. Didn't I tell you? Whose fault is it? It's that lying pastor. If it weren't for the disappearance of Pedro and Titika's party, I'd have gone to expose that pastor. Eh? And what are you going to do? What I'll do is when I have time, I'll go and sort out the story completely. That pastor must watch out, you'll see. haven't said anything about Pedro. Marisa, I have to go on the streets, huh? I have to find him. At least it's something, my love. Oh. Any news on Pedro? Good morning. If they were, I would have told you, huh? If I hadn't come to Luanda so suddenly, maybe I wouldn't know that my son ran away. Oh, you want that here. arguing now, will you? I'll go, Bath. Then we'll think about what to do to find Pedro. As if I haven't spent the whole night thinking about it, huh? Calm down, love. Why did you decide to come now? Why now? The important thing now is finding Pedro and Luigi, and I hope they are fine. If anything happens to Pedro, I don't know if I can forgive myself. It's not your fault, Jojo. He's an adolescent. Marisa, he lies. He deceives. It shows there's a problem here, huh? Don't be too hard on yourself. <sighs> the truth is, that Pedro was unfortunate to have parents like us. That's the truth. I don't care about my parents. My mother went to America and hasn't called me. My father forbid me from being with you. They are troubled now, it's their problem. I'm worried about Lukeni. They must be blaming him. Come on, Luaji. Hurry up, we have to leave before someone arrives. This food is delicious. Put it in the box if you can.
What are you doing? Writing a note to my father to see if he will leave us alone. And so, will you pass through the bank before going to Devo? I have to get to the magazine now. Luigi must still be missing, or else my uncle would have called me. I know, if but... If I'm going to stand in for him, I can't be late. I know, love, but you said you'll give me the money to repay the shop today. Sorry, but I have other priorities now. You promised, Kilwanji. If your problem is interest, don't worry, I'll give you the money for it. I have to make the payment today, Kilwanji. Victoria, are you sure that you're not hiding something from me? Are you doubting me? I find your attitude very strange. This pressure. I just don't like owing money. Is that a fault? I have to get to Devo. What should I do? And then? Why don't you call the bank and ask if they can bring the money to the magazine? Hmm? Victoria. It's no trouble. And it's more convenient for you. I'll sort it out later. Now, please hurry up because I'm late. I'll stop at the police station to find out if they have any news on Luigi and try to pressure them to do whatever possible. I, I'll be at home and your son too. Lucene isn't going to school today. Okay. If I have news, I'll call you. I just hope you haven't forgotten our conversation regarding what we discussed yesterday. About that, Marisa. For me, that conversation never happened. Wilson, don't think you are going to escape me. As soon as you return to Devo, the first thing you'll do is fire that woman. I've told you that I wouldn't fire Marisa. I want that irresponsible out of all of our lives. Isn't it enough what happened to Luigi? At the magazine, she won't enough say Enough of failure! You tell me once and for all, your problem with Giorgio, Pedro, and Marisa. You dare ask me? Give me a break of feeling. I'll rephrase it again. Either you tell me what your problem is with that family, or your opinion will count zero from now on. What? And not only at home, at Devo too. Come on, Ophelia. What are you hiding? I'm starting to pity poor Jojo. If Mr. Jojo still hasn't called, it's because Pedro hasn't been found, ne? Look, I just hope that the Lord our God is watching over them. That's all. Okay, then. Let's go, Mom. Come. Jai. Are you sure, baby? Don't you think it's risky to leave a note? I'm just asking them to leave us alone. And do you think they'll do that? No, I'm not trying. Ha, come, let's go. Ready? Yeah, before someone comes. Where could those kids be? They don't even have money, Mama. This way they won't get far. Help me with this gyre, please. Kilwanji, please give me a ride to Devo. Shisola is going shopping and I lent her my car. As long as you hurry, Uncle asked me to stand in for him at Devo, so I can't be late. Luigi hasn't come back yet? I don't know. Or else he would have called us to let us know. Do you want to, sir? Yes, I do, Yeda. Thank you. And my mother? I don't know, but I think she's not down yet. Madam went out very early. Where did she go to? Your mother didn't say. <laughs> I see. Knowing Madam Misara as I do, by this time she must have gone after the background of Antofelia. I hope that she really finds a secret. Searching for a background is the only hope we have of stopping that crazy ex auntie. <laughs> Sister, come here. I'm looking for a particular woman. I think she should be about your age. She lived here many years ago. Her name is Ophelia. Do you know her? So, have you ever seen this Ophelia? No, I've never. There must be someone around here that knows her. Her family is Esmeraldinho. I don't know anybody with that name. I'm very sure that she lived here. Do you want to do business with me? Depends. I'll pay you. To find out anything you can about her, talk to some elders. I know that she used to live here 20 years ago. 
Can I keep this photo? Does this mean that you accept? I accept. Whatever it is that you find, okay. I will pay for it. Agreed? Agreed. I have to call Jojo to find out if there is any news on Pedro, if he needs help. He shouldn't worry about work because things are going well here for that party at Titika's. He's not in his right mind for anything, Mama. Jai, help me get all that is needed for the fruit salad. open oh my god this is empty ah Jairi yes madam Nazari Jairi there's an empty Tupperware here which should be full of finger foods am I dreaming no you didn't dream this is one of the boxes for the party then how did all the results just disappear hmm? here's a note what's that note? what's going on it's from Pedro from Pedro, what does it say? Oh, failure. You wouldn't live here until you explain your problem with Pedro and his family. What do you mean? Besides being a bad influence, they are irresponsible people that- No, 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 no. That story doesn't convince anyone. That's not the problem. What are you talking about, Wilson? Do you really want me to tell you? Your problem with Pedro and his father is that they are white. <laughs> What idea is that? Moreover, it seems like you have a problem with whites in general, and you've transferred your anger on those poor people. I just need to know why. Wilson, you don't know what you're saying. Come on, Ophelia. Is it a problem with a past boyfriend, with a white that harmed your family? I want to know what your problem is. What's your problem, Ophelia? Talk! I don't really believe this, Wilson. Our daughter is missing, and you can only accuse me. Come to your senses, silly man. Pedro says him and Luigi are fine, so we shouldn't look for them again, otherwise it will be worse. Hmm. But oh my God, what are these children thinking? They are kids, Mama. They should be in love, right? Anyway. At least they're on a the full stomach. Because it's obvious they took all the finger foods that were here. Hmm. Well, I'll go fetch more pastries to fry. Mm -hmm. I'll go call Jojo. Forget it. I'll go look for Pedro on my own. No, I'll come with you. No, you'll only slow me down. Answer, Jojo. It must be the police. It's Yuri. Yes, Yuri. Hello, my friend. Pedro and Luigi spent a night at Mofete. They left a note. They left a note? What happened? Is Pedro fine? Keep quiet. What did the nerd say? That they are fine and they don't want to be found. Pedro said that if you look for them, it will be worse. I would really like to stop looking, huh? I'll be there now. I'll check if they've left to seclude Mafeti. Bye. What did Yuri say? Pedro and Luigi spent the night at Mafeti. I'll go with you. I will go alone. I won't just sit here waiting, Giorgio. We should call Wilson and inform him that they were at Mafeti. You call. I can't think. I'm going. Keep me Wait for me. Stupid man. Well, I'll go get my phone and call the father of the girl who's with Petro. Kiluanji, why don't you try calling Uncle Wilson? Find out if there's news on Luigi. If he hasn't called, it's because he knows nothing. And I don't want to stress him anymore. Look, I was thinking, what if I call Luigi? I doubt she'll answer. I could send her a message, try calling her to reason with her. Well, we've always gotten along. Remember when she wanted to be a model, she asked me for help. Victoria, is everything okay? Yes. It was just a problem with white shoes. <laughs> Let's go. Don't worry, Marisa, I will inform her. Yeah, bye. Good morning, Adir. Good morning. Good morning, Nadir. Good morning. I know what happened to your cousin, Luenji. She's missing, right? Marisa just called to say that she's not coming into work because her steps are run away with Luigi. My uncle might also not come. 
Nadi, please take this to my office. Kilowanji, if you need any help, I'll be in the storeroom looking at some things. I'll be going to your office. I need to talk to you. Nadir, look at my uncle's diary. He asked me to stand in for him and I want to organize my day. Yes, sir. You'll bring it to me later? Most certainly. Thank you. Have you called the bank yet? I need the money, Kilowanji. I've told you, Victoria. I'll take care of that when I get the opportunity. Can I, sir? Wait, Nadir. Come in, Nadir. We'll talk later, okay? Now let me work. Don't forget it. No, no, I won't. See you now, then. Mr. Kilowanji, he had an appointment for Mr. Wilson for today. Let's have a look. I'm sorry for your uncle. One day he finds out that he's rich, and the next one, look, his daughter goes missing. Well, in this meeting, I can stand in for my uncle. The talk I contracted to roam him over is outside. And what if he comes to the evil? What will I do? I don't know. Kilwanji has not given me the money yet. He asked me a lot of questions about the lie I came up with about owning the shop. Look, maybe he's not as stupid as you thought. Kilwanji, he said he'll help me. The problem is Luwenji's disappearance and Wilson not coming to work today. What? Kilwanji is more worried about that than calling the bank. Oh, my darling, you just have to wait. I only have until the end of today, Enda. Hmm. Otherwise, the guy will tell the whole world you paid him to run you over, hey? <laughs> if he does that, Kilwanji will end with me immediately. Listen, don't you have some money to borrow me? <laughs> Sorry? Yes, a few bucks to calm that miserable. Maybe I might gain some time. Oh, I can't do anything, my darling. You're always dressed up. Take some earrings, some bracelets, give him something. <laughs> oh, this is fake, Enda. Sorry, baby. I can't do anything. It's him, Enda. Answer it. Thugs are well known for being very impatient. Hello? How's it, girl? I'm waiting for the money. Why are you calling me? You gave me 24 hours. You will have your money at the end of the day. I just got to refresh your memory. Either you pay me what I want, or I come to the magazine to get it. Hello? Hello? The bastard hung up. He said if I don't give him the money, he'll come to Devo Henda. I pity you, hey? I wouldn't want to be in your skin, my friend. Kilowanji has to give me that money. Or else I'm finished. Shacho. Wilson. Nasare. Mr. Wilson. I came as soon as I could. When Marisa called, I was at the police station, and I've informed them that Pedro and Luigi spent the night here. Yes, and what are they going to do? They'll continue looking for them in line with this information. Look, the north had left. If we arrived earlier, maybe we would have found them. These kids are not thinking right. They think we'll stop looking for them? They don't know what they're doing. They don't know the dangers. We as parents are also responsible for what happened. Ah, oh, Mr. Wilson, don't say that. The most important thing right now is finding them. What are we going to do now, Wilson, huh? I don't know. I think we should go around looking for them until we find them. Look, my son Sao is doing that. Since he has a taxi, he's going all over the place looking for your children. And let's have faith, eh? Hope on. Where are those children now, huh? They'll end up coming home, San Sao. You'll see. I doubt it. We should keep our eyes, keep our eyes wide open. Che, che, che. So you are testing huh? now, eh? So, 
What is it what you Oh, what is it what? You think I'm that easily fooled? One look at you when you see whiskey, that's it, it changes. Nazare is right, you still haven't stopped drinking. I thought I had beaten it with the help of the pastor, Sebastian. Oh, pa that pastor only watered your money, pa. And Nazare always thought that this church wouldn't solve anything. And now I'm agreeing with her. Right. If you put it like that, son Salma. Right, you have to stop drinking and get out of the church because that pastor deceived you, Paul. This is Benjamin, the most dedicated of the bedrains. <laughs> Hi, Benjamin. This is Cassia, an angel whose soul was lost. You are welcome. <laughs> Every day, God sends me bedrains. People looking for orientation, for someone to show them the way. Seriously? <sighs> Brothers, tell this angel how your life was before coming to the Global Church of the New Horizon. It was worse, wasn't it? It was, <laughs> Pastor. It is much better now, thanks be to God. <clears throat> and that story of miracles, can you really do them? <laughs> Me, no. God does miracles everywhere. Hallelujah, brothers. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> mm, dang. He answers all prayers. Brothers, God doesn't help those who doesn't want to be helped, does he? Hallelujah. 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 <laughs> mm, so, and what if I want to make a request? Do you think you will grant me? Of course. Just say what it is. And so, and. What if I want him to help Henda fall in love with me again? Do you think it will work? I'm working, Victoria. He is not on my side, Henda. Kiluanji is taking long to give me the money. I have the talk downstairs waiting for me. I can't do anything. Can you just leave me alone? If Kiluanji doesn't get moving, I will soon have the blackmailer coming here and exposing me. Oh, Victoria, Victoria, spare me. I'm tired. I'll go have some tea because this conversation is making me nervous. Would you like some tea, Luena? No, I prefer water. Look, by the way, have you seen Arturo around? I haven't seen him at Devo. No, I have no idea. I thought you knew, hey, since you're friends. I don't know. What were you discussing with Luena? Just work, Victoria. Just work. Yeah. Novas coisas. Wind it. Wind it. Hold on. Wind it. Wind it. Hold on. Wind it. DJ, DJ, DJ. Para a música, deixa explicar. Wind it, quem tá uma boa aqui pra subir na vida. Garra a barriga do rico. Wind it. Wind it. Hold on. Wind it. Wind it. Hold on. Que também são aqueles juiz que só querem dar mais de carteira cheia. Windep, 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 Opa, Opa, Windep. Mas como é, Wii? Windep, que então quer dizer o quê? Wii, se não estás a compreender, fica só já. Windep, 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 Opa, Opa. Windex são aquelas boas que até vendem a irmã para ter vida boa. Windex, Windex, oh papá, Windex, Windex, oh papá. Windex também são aqueles juízes que para ter champanhe com bu fazem qualquer bicho.